lot of you guys have been waiting for this exciting announcement. You would have to make bad decisions. Before you go thinking that we're rich boys and we're, you know, popping bottles out here. We're sailing good, bad, and ugly. Three years ago, we bought our boat off Craigslist for $5,000. I'm Kristen, and this is Matt. We are known to break the rules and do things a little less traditional. Subscribe to join the adventure. Thanks to our patrons for keeping us going. What's up guys? Welcome back to Sailing GBU. This week we have some of the most exciting things we've done in a while and we have still boat projects as we just keep working on things. But you know what? We're knocking them out, guys. And we love that we've gotten some support and that you guys are sticking with us through our projects. Because once this is over, it's done. We're done with projects. And yeah, we're just, right. And Because that's how boat life works. You just do all your projects at one time and then you never have them again. <laughs> and that's what's great about it. So let's get to it. And I hope you guys are just as excited as we are. All right guys, so first thing we're gonna do is restore some stainless steel. I was here and I said, well, we gotta replace some stainless steel here. So I was trying to shop it out. And this cool guy, Pepin, that I met here, he kind of looked at me with a funny look on his face and said, do you have stainless steel now? And I said, yeah. And he said, why don't you just fix it, polish it, refurbish it completely. And what I've done is I've tried some polishes before that never really worked, but old Pepin told me you gotta sand it. And I said, oh, I don't wanna scratch it up. I'm not good at it. And he says, bro, you gotta get the papel, the papel is mas fina. And he said, get the fine sandpaper and then just sand it, use a lubricating oil. There's better ones than this, but I'm gonna use WD-40 because it doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm gonna go and get this shined up. We're gonna run this between 800 grit to 3000. I would like a higher grit to get like a mirror finish. If you go up to like 8,000, you can get that mirror finish, but we're not gonna get a mirror finish. We're gonna get a nice shiny product though. We're gonna get this rust out of here and we're gonna bring the old girl up to shape because we got the new rigging. The rigging is bling nuggets. So we gotta get the old stanchions up to speed too. We're gonna get this started. I have a towel here to make sure we don't get too much spillage. You don't wanna get the lubricant everywhere. The way you do it here, take a little bit of your lubricant, spray it on your paper. This way it limits waste. You don't want to spray it directly on because then it just gets everywhere. Take this bad boy. Okay, so that's how you start it out with the heavier grit so that you can take a lot of those scratches out. And as you go finer and finer with the sandpaper, it's going to make the scratches smaller and smaller and smaller. And it's going to bring that shine out a little bit more. Hopefully, hopefully Pepin was telling the truth, but I have faith that it's at least gonna look better than it looks right now. <laughs> Okay, so just for the sake of instruction, just for the sake of showing it how it really is, I did the bottom half all the way through the steps, just so I could show you side by side the difference that even just going through those six or seven different grits made for the polishing of the stainless steel. This top part that was old and rusted that I just knocked off the rust more or less, 
is pretty dull, kind of dingy, and then even only going up to 3000 grit, you can see hand polishing how much better it looks down here. Now you can still see some nicks in the bottom. If I were to start off with a little bit heavier grit, maybe like a 500 or a 600, it would take a lot of those nicks out and then it would get to like a mirror polish if I were able to go from like 600 grit all the way up to 8,000. And if you had a better lubricant, that would help as well to iron out some of those scratches. But it's definitely not mirror polish, but it is super shiny. I'm really stoked that it's gonna come out as good as this. And I'm really hyped that Pepin showed me how to save my old stainless steel. So if you buy an old boat and you walk up to it and it looks horrible and rusty and just disgusting, little elbow grease, put a little bit of that on it and you can have yourself a nice shiny pole. All right guys, so I got a rope and I built it and I made a lasso and I threw it up and I jerked it around the sun so I could harness the power of the sun's energy. I'm the first person to come up with this on a boat to use solar panels and do things like that to power it off grid. So this is pretty interesting. I'm sure you've never heard of this, but we got some flex solar panels. I just recently unboxed these bad boys. Oh yeah, clean 144 watts of clean renewable energy. I'm pretty hyped about it. This is gonna help us out a lot so that we can go further and have crazier adventures and you guys can watch us on our crazier adventures where we can get further and further off grid get out to the wilderness a little bit more okay so i got four separate 144 watt panels and if you notice these look a little bit different than the other ones i just showed you the reason being for that is before you go thinking that we're rich boys and we're you know popping bottles out here we went with the bargain basement special we went for the dumpster dive supreme i called the company and i said hey this is our budget, what can we do? Solbian helped us out and said, well, we have some discontinued panels that are still gonna work really well um, and we'll send them out your way. And I said, all right, cool, yeah, kick them over to me. So if you're interested in solar, go check those guys out. Not a sponsored ad, we didn't uh, get paid by these people, we paid for these, but they did work with us and they have some pretty cool looking panels. So months down the road, we will be giving you a more detailed account of what is working, how well it's working, if it's better, or if it's not. But here's me testing them out, tied these two into our old system just to kind of see how much more panels these push than the other ones. And they seem to be pushing a lot better. For two days I've had it up here. It's uh, been running my fans pretty strong throughout the night. So we're still on one battery, but they look good. And they're gonna waterproof my top canvas too. So to control those new panels, since I pretty much tripled my wattage to come in, um, I had to get new charge controllers. This is a very important part of the whole deal. You have to get this just to make sure that the solar, when it's hot out here in Puerto Rico, doesn't pump the batteries up till they explode. This is the smart controller, which kind of keeps monitoring the health of your battery and things like that. It's a Victron Energy Smart Solar. This is the 20 amp. I got two 20 amps. So each two panels is going to be going to its own separate charge controller. And it looks kind of boring, looks kind of plain, but it goes to an appy on your phone. That appy. Tells, goes to an appy on your phone and then the appy tells you like everything that's going on, how much you're getting, how much you're losing, how much you're floating, how much is getting, you know, the cloud coverage. It tells you everything about everything on the appy. And we're gonna be redoing our Bimini to make it flat for those flat panels. We're getting rid of our old rack. And so we'll be coming back to the panels a little bit more and discussing that later. And the reason that we had to upgrade, we're not running crazy stuff, ACs or anything like that, but when we were traveling, because when we first started out with this boat, we went so low on everything that we had and we would only run one battery. When we would do multiple overnight crossings, we would get so low on power that we would have to make bad decisions between either running our running lights so that ships could see us or running our GPS so that we could tell where the hell we are or charge a phone. We would get pretty low running things constantly like that for a couple of days. So we had to upgrade. Unfortunately, it's tough to get by on one battery and what was it, about 130 watts of uh, solar. All right guys, so I bet a lot of you guys have been waiting for this exciting announcement that we talked about in last week's video. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Roll the film. Thank you.
We finally set up our merch. We've been really busy during this hurricane season and I've actually been working on this ever since I first announced it. If you guys remember I said should we do merch and a lot of people said yes do it do it do it and I'm just really a perfectionist it turns out. I was questioning myself on every design. What I wanted to do was make something that looked cool that you guys felt cool in. <laughs> Not just something that was like, all right, I guess I'll buy it and it's for support of them, I like them, but you know what, I'm just gonna throw this in the back of my closet. I wanted something where you could go out, wear it, feel, you know. Basically, if you had a hot date on Friday night off Tinder and you're gonna wear your GBU shirt, we want you feeling comfortable enough to wear it. We want your hot Tinder day to say, ooh, zaddy, what's that shirt? Can't wait to peel that off, big boy. <laughs> okay, I don't know about any of that. So currently we have a few different designs. We have the GBU original shirt. We have it on the classic tee, and we also have, if you want a little better quality, we have it on a slim fit tri-blend tee. That one's a little more pricier, but it is better quality. I'm wearing this. This looks pretty G to me. I don't know about you. <laughs> and obviously the back. Says it on the back, says it on the front. We went with kind of like regular colors, earth tones, stuff that blends because we don't, y'all know our style, but we don't know everybody's style. We don't know, excuse me. We have, <laughs> we have these masks. I gotta take this thing off though. <laughs> so we don't know your style, so we wanted to make cool stuff that blends smooth. We don't know if you're rocking jeans, if you're rocking plaids, you're rocking the stripes. Day, it, looks, it sounds like we tried to make some cool stuff. So you guys let us know in the comments if we made some cool stuff. Yeah, it's going to match with your corduroys, your chaps, anything you want to wear. It's going to go with it perfectly. So, you know, if you got a hipster style, if you're a cowboy, you know, if you're wearing your old Jankos, it goes with everything. So we made masks and we also have neck gaiters. So you'll have to check those out. I'll leave the link down below for you to check everything out. So we have mugs. We have a few different things, sweaters and hoodies for people that are in colder climates. We have another logo. We have it on the, you saw in the video. This is our full sail logo. It's, full sail. Keeps up with our sailing, you know, a little bit of sailing GBU on the front. And basically, go check it out. We are super excited. We hope you guys enjoy it as much as we think it looks cool and I'm gonna try to save up some money so I can purchase some myself. I'm buying some. My whole family's getting it for Christmas this year. I'm saying too bad so sad guys. Here's your GBU stuff. Rock it with pride. But look if you do get it please on our Facebook on our Instagrams even if you have to email it to us send us like pictures of you wearing it. Yes, we really want to see. We want to see what's up and then uh, yeah tag us and if you're on Instagram we'll definitely be reposting all that stuff and then on Facebook, and then obviously for our patrons as well, we have a, a WhatsApp group. I'd love to see them in there. So let's get buck wild. Let's show some love, and then, uh, you know, we want to show some love back. All right, guys. So not only did you want merch, you wanted to see something. I think it's called a silver mullet. It's happening today. It's a difficult thing to do, a silver mullet, and it turns out that's the most high maintenance way of dyeing your hair, I read on Google. But today we're doing it GBU style, and it's going down.
congrats to all you lunatics out there that voted for the silver mullet. <laughs> I hope this is about as silver mullet as you can possibly get. And I got a lot of mixed feelings. You know, they say the hair don't make the man, the man makes the hair. But I think this hair is making me. And I don't know if this is a good look for me. I'm feeling really conflicted emotionally. You look like a unicorn. A magical unicorn. <laughs> oh, like a unicorn? <laughs> All right, boys and girls. So if you voted silver mullet, screenshot it. Here's a 360 view. Don't screenshot this. I don't this is probably see something you never see again. All right. Hey, but look, if you did screenshot it, show me a picture on my Instagram. Go to Neptune's Reaper and say, gotcha, silver mullet. This is real life. My grandkids are going to see this. This is horrible. I can't believe y'all. I can't believe y'all wanted this of me. Hope you guys are happy with this silver mullet that I have to live with now. But you know what? It's just hair. We're going to get through it. Nothing lasts forever. <laughs> But I hope you guys like this video. Hope you learned how to polish some steel. Can't wait to get into the solar and see what kind of difference that makes in our lives. If we get more power, what kind of 21st centuries we can break into with that. And just checking things off our to-do list. Just keep checking them off, you know. Get a boat, they said. <laughs> It'll be fun, they said. But we didn't know it was all silver mullets and solar panels. <laughs> Anyways, guys, make sure you go down below in the description, check out the link to our merch. We cannot wait to see you guys wearing our shirts, representing in the GBU universe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week.